Hello YouTube and welcome to Excel tutorial series over here and right here in my screen what you're seeing is something called a workbook. So workbook is referred to as the file in Excel. Uh, in Excel. So by default you can see that book 1 is its name and this is the workbook. A workbook may contain a lot of worksheets. So in my case, I only have seat one. I can double click and rename this out. So let's say I'm gonna say this is my first seat, just like this. You're gonna add more worksheets. You can click here and there you go, there's seat two. Click here, you can add, duplicate and so forth. If I were to right click this, you can see that there are a lot of options you can work with, which we're going to see in further lessons. So if I were to click and drag this, you can actually rearrange the worksheets as you can see. And workbooks contain a lot of worksheets, just like that. So over here, you can see that here I got cells. I can click and select different cells right here uh, on the worksheet. So if I were to click here and select this cell, you can see that now my X column is highlighted and eighth row is highlighted. So my call my uh, cell is referred to as, as the H8 cell, as you can see right here. Now, if I were to go down, you can see that if I were to scroll down, you can see that more and more uh, setting, more and more numbers are actually here. And if you want to go to the very bottom, just simply press Control and the down arrow, and you can see that this is the last row, uh, which is actually there. You press Control and up, it'll go back to the top. Control and right, it'll go. Uh, to the end, XFD is the max row that uh, Excel sheet actually stores. If I were to press Control back, it actually goes here. You want to select all the cells? Simply click here, and all of the cells are selected right there. Click here, back, and it deselects everything. So another thing that you want to do is, if you want to move from one cell to other cell, you can simply press the arrow keys, and then the cell will move just like this. So, so just simply press the arrow keys, as you can see right here. Uh, if you want to scroll down, not by using the mouse scroller, but by using the arrow keys, you can press the scroll lock key on your keyboard. So, this is one way to utilize scroll lock key on your keyboard. Press the scroll lock, and once my scroll lock is on, if I were to press the down arrow key, you can see that now this actually scrolls down. If I'm pressing the right arrow key, it actually moves to the right, just like this. So if I were to turn off the scroll lock, then if you were to press the down arrow, you can see the cell selection actually activates right there. So that is how you work with workbooks and worksheets inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.